Hi guys, welcome back to episode 25 of our vanilla City of Skylines Let's Play. Uh, last episode we built a new part of town over here, uh, which is looking relatively nice now. Uh, I haven't done any work off camera, and um, there's still a lot more tree placement to do, but we'll do that at some point. And today I just wanted to kind of do a little bit more um, of a residential kind of drive at the minute, because we really need to start pushing on uh, to these higher milestones. I've been sat around 50,000 for what seems to be quite a good few episodes now and um, so I wanted to do that and I want to actually connect this side of town um, via a bridge over to here so I'm just gonna oh, that is not what I wanted to do that seems about right and then we'll see if we can get a little bit of a curve on over here just to there so that just gives them another connection means they don't have to use the highway because at the minute the only way in and out of this little village that we've got going on here is this little kind of intersection here uh, that does need tidying up it's a little bit messy but we're kind of stuck for room but right now it serves a purpose and it's functional so we are happy with it okay so let's continue by growing these roads out a little bit further see if I can't actually follow the highway just to about there about there and I'll connect this guy in here and let's go back to some dirt roads and I'll bring one in right through the middle and then up to there and then we'll also link these guys together with some paths. Uh, so in terms of series on the channel, I wanted to actually speak to you guys about something. A few episodes ago, we had a comment um, requesting kind of a tutorial uh, on City Skylines about, you know, what you can and can't do with, you know, different kind of industry zonings and how to manage traffic efficiently. And after thinking about it for a while, um, there's already... You know, there's a ton of City Skylines uh, tutorials out there on YouTube already. Um, so for me to go ahead and make another one, I think that'll just kind of be a, a little bit of oversaturation in terms of the YouTube front. So I recommend you go check out people like uh, Sam Burr and uh, Biffa Plays Indie Games. Those guys make some really good tutorials on relatively complicated aspects of the game. So if that sounds like something you're into, then go ahead and do it. But that doesn't mean that I'm not going to do some kind of other um, City Skyline series away from this vanilla Let's Play. Um, so what I was thinking of doing is kind of focusing on the vanilla game as we have done on this channel um, so far. And what I mean by that is kind of doing... So, so let me finish this off here before... There we go. Okay, so what I was thinking was kind of doing how to build different public transport interchanges, kind of similar to what we did with our new tram network a couple of episodes ago, uh, and the new part of town, the, the canals. So I was thinking maybe doing some kind of public transport vanilla designs, because I think a lot of the time, you know, if you're stuck for a bit of inspiration, you know, sometimes just seeing somebody else's take on a, on a design, so stuff like this. You know, doing stuff with the public transport lines and maybe expanding parks and vanilla assets and how to incorporate the different policies to get, you know, the kind of the green city commercial stuff integrated into nice green parkland. So if that sounds like something you guys would be interested in, um, then just let me know in the comments. So if you think it'd be a waste of time, again, just, you just let me know. Because um, I think that would be quite cool to do. Um, but again, you know, if you think, you know, maybe you'd like me to do something else. But I think in, in terms of generic kind of tutorials there's already a lot of them out there on youtube and i'll just be saturating the market again it's already been done before but you know if you guys are absolutely desperate i don't think i'm that amazing uh public transport for me is a warrant doing a whole video on how to use them and um, my traffic management isn't bad you know we're at fifty thousand now and we're we've got 80 percent traffic flow um, and if, even if you look at the bad parts of the map on the traffic map let's pick out um right, okay so like this part here like, even though it's marked as red, it isn't insanely bad to the point where we need to rework this part of town. It is still moving. Um, although, as I say, that <laughs> it is getting worse as I'm talking about it. So, 
yeah, you know, turn up into side, you can see it is flowing, it isn't backing up to the point where cars are despawning. You know, this is just like a busy high street, it is natural to get traffic here. Um, yeah, so if you guys are absolutely desperate for that, then maybe we can have a look at doing something, but otherwise, um, I think we're, we're alright. Uh, so the second kind of residential expansion I wanted to do, uh, was up over on this side of the map where we have this big empty green space. Uh, and I'm thinking of putting some higher density stuff over here. Because uh, this kind of place is where our little our high density bits tend to pop up. What's on fire over there? Oh, wonderful. Two of our incinerators. Okay. Uh, let's actually make this a nice road. Let's not go for the end. Um... Okay. It's not been sorted about here. I'm going to go for a bit of a... Um... For a bit of curvage. How about there? That should work quite nicely, I think. Uh, and then we'll have this as a bit of a main street, I think. So we'll we'll draw in a box and we'll drop some kind of park asset along here. And um, maybe let's go for the the biotanical gardens, and then we'll we'll build around that. And we can have some paths. Just actually map this area out with water first. Apologies as well if I'm still sounding a little bit nasally because my hay fever is starting to die away now, but it's just it's just clinging on. Uh, okay, so we have our cycle highway here. Uh, again, another fantastic recommendation by Ever24. Uh, let's obviously bring a little bit of a curve on here, and then we'll bring it down to about there, and that should see those guys connected up. Okay, and then I'm going to want some, let's go for some grassy banking roads, and we are going to cut across the railway here. And we're going to have a relatively kind of structured grid pattern on this side of town. We'll have that one over there. So I'm not sure how well. traffic will flow through these parts purely because they are crossing over two railway lines although this isn't a busy railway line this is really just um this is a cargo line even though some trains do use it to turn around and this is um not the most realistic thing you're ever likely to see so we'll probably rework that at some point i think it'd be nice to see the um the trains coming behind the commercial district that's going to sit over here. Uh, and maybe actually, can we get a bridge over here? Yeah, we can, just about there. So that'll give them a connection to that side of town as well. And again, they will have a connection with the cycle path as well. So I'm actually cycling up to this end. Well, there's one guy on the bike there. Okay, let's get a bit of a general layout here. Um, see how long are these? 1950. We can probably just make that. Yeah, we can. Okay. And then we're just going to follow the arc of the highway there. Okay, let's go ahead and plop some paths in for these guys. Now I do want to use high density residential around here, um, however my only real concern about that is um, the regular high density stuff looks horrible and the green city stuff does look better but it doesn't give us as much money. So 
just move that back again a little bit. Uh, let's drop down to this one. There we go. And this guy can cross over the tracks. There we go. And then you can just head down this way. Into here. Okay, so that gives them a route across the railway. Uh, these guys won't really need one. We'll leave that empty for now. Uh, let's have one coming down the back of here along the highway. We'll shield that with trees so they aren't walking right next to the highway. We'll have one up through here and then down here as well. Uh, then we don't really need one down there. Uh, let's, let's have one through here that matches up with that. Uh, okay, that should do nicely. Now let's give this area a zone. Uh, we're going to the big one here. And we'll just map all this area in. Push the other area back to the edge of the canal. There we go. That's all I'm in. Okay, so we'll see. I may change the, these housing areas um, to renewable green city stuff. We will see. We'll see how it turns out. Uh, let's get these guys boxing as well. And then, oh, not that far down actually. Uh, let's go for this guy. And then this guy as well. Okay, well, um, let's give them. Why is that yoga garden so expensive? It's crazy. We'll drop it anyway. Uh, we'll also give them a cemetery um, that can have its own little uh, dedicated street here. And then you'll see what I'm going for here in a moment. There we go. These guys do want power. I can just siphon that off from there. And then hopefully these guys will build some commercial and link that through. Well, let's go ahead and plop some trees in around here. And get some just around this kind of death centre. Let's get a that little basketball court. These guys are gonna need power as well. Again, these will just be temporary lines until it all joins together. Okay, so Biotanical Gardens does have a little bit of a a gap next to it, so I'm gonna put some pink trees alongside. And then we're also going to dive into the park life props and grab some of our favourite hedges. Let's get these in along here. Yeah, so today's episode is going to be very heavily residential. Doing some nice little town centres for our people. It'd be really helpful if these snapped together, wouldn't it? Uh, let's go ahead and grab a couple of rocks to sit along the foot of these and perhaps a couple of bushes as well yeah, so we get a nice little street corner let's see how traffic's flowing through this area what else can we get them? How is the nearest police station here? They're yeah, probably going to need their own. So we'll pop one down here with a fire station as well. 
This guy can sit on here. Uh, we haven't had too many clinics in the city either. Maybe we can have a clinic as well. Just down here, and then we'll also pop in a public library. And we're going to have a little path around this as well, I think. wonder if we can get one through that gap. No, it doesn't like that's going to connect, does it? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Can't just get it through there, can we? We'll have that connecting up there. And then we'll also have this come over to this junction as well. And we'll grab some of our favourite beech trees again. And we'll just decorate this guy out a little bit too. I'll see, is there any way we can link this to? Yeah, okay, maybe well, let's try that. Let's grab our pathway tool. And we're just going to snake this guy around. And he does connect. Okay, so we'll have this as kind of a border to our pathway that goes under the main road. And just over here as well. Okay, boom. So that just kind of boxes off that area nicely. Do have a little pathway by the canal now. So the canal idea in this city never really worked out because we never we never finish the canal through to the coast and to build that through now would wipe out a vast amount of infrastructure heading right through here um, so it's not really something that I want to do maybe in a future city but I think it's nice just to have these little canal side buildings the canals are a little bit deep for me you know canals never look like this in England they're always right, right full to the top um, and as to whether or not they're that deep I have no idea but even, even the small shallow canals um, don't really look that much different from this. Okay, let's have a look how we're getting on over here. Uh, these guys will drop in a couple of little park assets for them. Uh, you guys can have a dog park over here. Um, then maybe a small playground. Yeah, let's just go for that. That'll fit in there so that guy can just rebuild. So this should increase some of the land value. And again, yeah, so these guys are stopping in the middle of the road. Hopefully that won't be too much of an issue. Maybe these guys should have their own highway entrance and exit as well. And people are using these connections too. This cycle highway was a great idea. So many people using it now. And heading in different directions too, which is good to see. I don't know why this area turned into a bridge, but kind of breaks up the the grey path aspects of it. Okay, so we just need to let this area grow. I'm probably not going to fill in these areas. We'll leave these as kind of almost wild forests between the university. Let's have a look at our university. How are we getting on? We still need more students. Now, I'm not sure why we aren't getting more students. Maybe it's because we don't have enough... No, we do have enough dormitories. Um, maybe a study hall. Squeeze one in there. And that guy is still connected as well. 372 at this bus terminal now. Relatively nicely. The city has come a really long way. It's just take a bit of time just to hover around. I think these areas need a little bit of touching up. It's kind of a bit barren around here considering how dense the rest of this city is. Just kind of needs a bit of personality adding in here. It's just kind of, see kind of the end of the city is a little bit blunt. It just kind of finishes and then goes into the whole transport section down here. And this train cutting hasn't been too much of a problem either. I 
Okay, what else are we getting on? The traffic over here is moving. Remember, if you remember, we did have really big traffic problems around this roundabout. And we never really continued our walking highway either. Maybe let's add, um, let's add a touch more to this. Uh, let's go back to our snapping tool. And then we'll bring this guy over. I'll we'll connect him up there. Yeah, that's going to be too steep, isn't it? We don't really need a connection there anyway. Uh, this guy down here could do with one. I need to pop snapping off here. Yeah, so it's not quite on the ground yet, is it? There we go. And then we'll just pop in a few trees to hide in this messy terrain. Okay, so this area of town doesn't look the best. It's kind of very, like they're not fully upgraded yet. It's easy to do something over here as well. Maybe we could actually have a road that follows the highway. And then joins up with that side. See, I'm not sure. Really, I'm not sure. Need to pop in some trees around this side as well, around the interchange. Yeah, so we've got a nice little high street going on here. A little botanical gardens as the centre of town. Do need to pop some paths in down here though. Okay. So it's just filling in those little gaps that appear with trees. This makes them look a bit more natural. Okay. Power should all be linking in now. Yes it is, so I can delete those. Okay. And again, we'll pop in some more of these guys. I think we'll leave backing on to the actual highway. Maybe we could add a little road in like we did on the other side. Let me pop my snapping on here. And we'll switch to No, not like that. Just like this. And then they can make their own way across town if they need to. That way it stops them from forcing their way back through here. And a little bit of traffic back up on this intersection. A lot of traffic back up actually. Maybe we can upgrade this into a six lane just to handle that extra volume. Although this space is occupied by the highway so it won't let me. Again, maybe this guy has a two-way in the same direction. Might help just split the traffic up a little better. So they can go the separate ways. Maybe we've got some crime issues over here. And this guy is polluting, isn't he? Although he is producing paper for me finally. Okay. We've got a bit of a must have had a, um, a lightning strike over here. Let's connect these back up. Okay. So, 
in the next episode, we are finally going to unlock the next section of our map because it is about time we did that. Um, I'm wondering about this side of town here, whether or not we carry on expanding down the river. Might be a good idea, might not be. <laughs> not entirely sure. Um, and do these three squares here. But I do want to kind of expand our industry over here as well. There's a lot of decisions. You guys have been dropping recommendations in the comments as well, which I'm really appreciative for. Um, but I'm just not sure which way to go. I think I want the cargo airport to sit over here with the rest of our kind of major industry. And um, that's on this side of town. And we've got the banner over here. Hey, you guys aren't doing too badly. I've also got a little school district over here now as well, with our little paths and hedges. It's looking pretty sweet. Uh, yeah, so thanks for all the recommendations. Next episode, we are definitely going to bite the bullet because uh, it's about time that we started to uh, work on a new tile of the map because we are very slowly starting to fill out everything we've unlocked right now. Uh, we're running out of spaces to build and we still have two more milestones to go. Uh, with Metropolis and then Megalopolis just on the horizon. So we're going to leave it there guys. It's a little bit of a short one and maybe a little bit uninteresting today. But I wanted to get something out for you guys because I'm going to be busy for the rest of the week until the weekend. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Much appreciated. Uh, if you have enjoyed the channel, uh, we're up to 26 subscribers now. We are growing every day. And again, if you are new to the channel, there are links in the description of my Twitch. If you want to follow me there where we stream a bit of Destiny 2. Uh, we've been chasing a bad juju tonight, um, and for those that are interested in Destiny, you know what it means. If you don't know what it means, then come and watch on Twitch and you can find out. Uh, there's also links in the description to my schedule if you'd like to know when these are coming out. Although I think I do need to amend that schedule now because it's a little bit out of date. Um, but otherwise, you guys can also find a link in the description to my setup if you are at all interested in what I'm using to make these videos. Thanks guys, thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you all soon.